and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these cute feathered wreaths. Um, the last video I showed you how to make the trees, the feathered trees, um, and so this week it's the wreath. Um, I think they're just so fun and so elegant looking for the holidays and really easy to personalize. So I'm going to show you how to make this. The wreath form that I used, it was four to five dollars from the craft store. It was one of the straw ones. I did wrap it in the batting. So if you have some leftover craft um, batting from the trees, definitely use that on this as well. So you're going to need the boa, some batting, a wreath form. This is kind of a smaller one, um, but really any size would work. And then some ribbon or something to hang it and a hot glue gun. And that's all you need. Okay guys, um, I know that some of this part of the video was out of the frame, so it's kind of hard to see, but pretty much if you watch the trees video, it's almost exactly the same. Just wrap um, strips of batting around the form, the wreath form, and get it nice and covered. doesn't have to be perfect. And then hot glue the boa around just in a circular motion. It seems pretty self-explanatory. It's nothing really too tricky about it. Um, just make sure you apply enough glue and be careful with your fingers again. I had one feather boa that I used and then I ran out. So I had to use some of the boa from the trees to fill in. Hey you guys, now that you have your wreath, um, I'm going to show you some ways that you could personalize it. You could of course leave it like this, but um, the trees I think are beautiful just as is, but I think that this could really use some embellishment. So I have a few things here. Um, one thing I thought was this really lovely burgundy kind of bead and you could just kind of attach it on the side like that. I think just going up on one side would be really pretty. I love this color combination. Um, another thing that you could do is here's some gold poinsettia uh, silk flowers. You could just take, you know, one of them and attach it. Or you could do a little cluster and attach that. The gold I think is just so elegant and pretty. The other thing you could do, I found this really sparkly light green that I think is just gorgeous with the gold. Um, and so what I think I'm gonna do is I have this little cluster. It came on a bigger one like this. Um, a couple dollars at the craft store. I got all this at Ben Franklin Crafts here in uh, Hawaii. But um, I think Joann's or Michael's will have all of this kind of stuff if you live on the mainland. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have this gold ribbon. And then I'm going to use this green, I think. And then I took one of the poinsettia um, silk flowers off. You can usually just pop it right off of the wire stem. And kind of probably cut the stem and add something like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but this is, you know, a few different ways that you can personalize it, make it your own. You could glue some ornaments together, make a little cluster of ornaments to put on there. Really beautiful way to DIY this um, super cute and, you know, really elegant and pretty and really easy holiday DIY. So um, thanks for watching this video, you guys. If you want to see how I made the tree, here's a tree. <laughs> um, you want to see how I made the trees? Check out my last video. Um, and here's this one. And then stay tuned. My next video is going to be a really fun, more traditional looking poinsettia wreath. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.